Today we are at Payne's Prairie Preserve in, I don't know how to pronounce it. Micanope. Micanope. I think, I don't um, know. It's just very close to Gainesville. Don't really know what to expect. We're getting ready to go through the uh, admission place. It's $6 per car. I think we just stay in our car and hopefully we, <laughs> hopefully we find some wildlife. I think there's possible bison here. So we'll check it out. I don't know how well I'll be able to do this, but they give you this map here. I don't even, oh, we must be down here maybe? Station, yeah. Down here. So we're gonna follow all the way here and see what it's like. So far, we're just driving here on this path. I really, again, have no idea what to expect, but it is almost 70 degrees, so got the windows down. Still cruising on down the road. Check out this tree that is over the road. Pretty cool stuff there. What do we got here? We've got Payne's Prairie Visitor Center. So we're gonna go straight and I don't know, see, see what it is. Park closes at 6.30 today. It's a Saturday. So Saturday, park closes at 6.30. Look at these trees lining this road. Like the pine trees lining the winding road. So far, this, even though we haven't seen an animal, these trees are really cool. I mean, look at all that. It's like a movie set. Not really sure where we're at, but Timber read on their site that there's like wild horses, horses and bison. So hopefully we get to see some of that today. So it looks like we made it to the Aluchua Savannah Visitor Center. I have no idea how to say that word. <laughs> I think it's Alachua. Alachua Visitor that. Center. And not sure if we're gonna like walk around or I, again you are going on the ride just like we are have no idea we are just trying to figure out what to do here so down at the ranger stations where we entered we drove all that long trail up to this in fact if you look really close right here you can see us right there i guess we'll walk down here to, I'd say go to observation. visitor center observation tower there's a wakahuda trail maybe from the observation tower we can see the bison like it's a wind day if we see a bison or wild or, or wild horse and then there's just all these it looks like you can take a horse on this trail bike or walk with your little whatever those walking sticks not the kind that my mom are scared of but like the actual walking sticks and then there's all this stuff here but look at these miles like you, you're getting like into a five mile journey oh this is four miles that just, you can just keep going. and it's not to scale so i don't know we're just gonna walk around and see what happens we got till sundown which today apparently is around 6.30. So we just walked past the map because there's people there. So we're just gonna kind of wing it and go this way. <laughs> Where yeah. Um. Oh, I was gonna say the sign back there said the visitor center closes at four. And right now it's three, 3.18. So we will probably stop there first just so we can see what it's like inside. Looks like this must be the visitor's center. So we're gonna go in there and again, don't know what to expect. So 
might not have a whole lot or it might have a bunch of information, but we'll see. I do like the roof. Check that out. Hey, there's a bison. So it looks like they got some displays in here. What do we got? Please do not touch. Wow. Over here we've got some kind of... There's a bison. Here's some other things to... I guess, expect to see out of here. And here is just a place you can, oh, here's the different things you can see during the seasons. <laughs> a weird, crazy staring owl. <laughs> Over here is where I guess we're gonna go. There's like people straight up walking all the way out there. I guess right here, you go through this little thing here. Open range. Bison, cattle, horses, alligators are wild. Do not feed or approach. This is about to be cool. Here's some safety guidelines. You are entering a wilderness area. All right. We are out in the wilderness area as we speak. We gotta keep our distance if we see anything wild. So the visitor center is back there. Over here is the observation tower, which we'll go to in a little bit. We're really gonna get in the thick of things over this way. See if we find anything. Again, our goal is one bison or one wild horse. We'll see what happens. You should have, wow. You definitely have to wear your hiking, hiking boots, I which... I totally under the impression this was a drive through type of thing. Yeah, she's definitely not <laughs> dressed to hike here. I kind of am, but we okay. thought we were going to stay in the... Whoa, hold on here. We thought we were going to stay in the car. I'm not much of a tracker, but Crikey. if we if we feel it, it looks smell. like... Smell it. I smell it. It looks like maybe <laughs> approximately... 10 to 15 minutes ago, we had some sort of hoofed animal walk off through here. So we're gonna follow it. And also probably get our shoes completely destroyed in the process. <laughs> so don't wear new shoes here, folks. Yeah, there really isn't a walkway to get there. Oh, there's some more trail. So looks like the yeah we just walk around and see i guess you can go in the thick of things if you really want to risk that maybe yeah huh well in case of wild boy look at this we're still we're, we're tracking right now this is like lewis and clark who are you are you meriwether or william You're Meriwether Lewis and I'm William Clark. Yep. All right. This is, this is pretty crazy. Sort of government officials in Missouri. We found that out at the Jefferson yeah. City Council. Believe that? Or, oh, I heard, something. I heard something. It sounded like a big beast. Oh, my gosh. Oh, something's moving back there. Or the wind. Could be the wind or a squirrel or a big beast. 
Just stick your finger in that. Oh, I think we need to smell this. <laughs> See how old this is here. Oh, that's definitely older. So at one point there was some beast over here that has since left the area. What's crazy to me though is earlier back there, there were tracks and we were tracking it. There's no more tracks. So I think there's something big over there. This is like a scary movie. Cue the scary m movie music right now. All right, stop the scary movie music. Anyway, back there, there was those tracks and we can't find them anymore. So I think they actually have flying bison here. I think they're... I didn't see bison tracks, did they? I don't know what they were. They were a beast. Oh, yeah, I don't know. All right, I think we found some people. I feel like they're hiding something from us over here. I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of droppings everywhere, so we're we're definitely those are whoa, those are more fresh than those are definitely more fresh. We're all we're heading the right way. Can you? I guess you can't have this is not a horse trail then. No, but there is one that yeah. was down here. Yeah, somewhere. What are you doing? Trying to zip your back. Huh. So that you would think that'd be from the wild horses. Yeah. I think there's gonna be some wild horses well, over here. There, like, there's a lot of people up here. I don't, let me see if I can zoom in and see. Oh, so they they might be here. stopped up there checking something out. <laughs> Sniff it out. <laughs> We're gonna be really quiet here. Squirrel. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, hi, hi. Are you camera shy? Oh my, I feel like there's another squirrel up here going to drop freaking nuts on my head. Oh no, it's a bird. I don't know if you can see it. I don't even really know where it's at. It's, oh, it was up there somewhere. The sky is falling. Here's kind of our first little stop here. Now there are gators out here. The University of Florida gators are like that way. But haven't seen any of them yet. When you're walking by the water, just beware. What do we always say? Anytime there's water in Florida, there will be a gator somewhere. I think our plan is to, because it's like a two mile trail this way, way I think, one way. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to just keep walking a little bit to see if we do find anything. I mean, there are a lot of poop pellets everywhere. So there's got to be something over here. Mm -hmm. But the tower's back that way. And I think if we walk past the tower, that's more of the prairie boundary basin. basin the prairie basin, rather. So we may try walking for about 20 more minutes this way, seeing if we see anything, and then heading back toward the prairie basin. Although, this kind of looks like you see the alligator slides right in there. But don't see one yet, but I am not going to walk through that. Just an update on what we're doing here. We are just... <laughs> uh, there's a root there, so if you're walking, make sure you pay attention. Or wear steel toe boots, and then you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. We just made a turn around this way. This is the two-mile stretch. I don't know if we'll go the whole two miles, because... You gotta walk back. It's not like you can just lay down and ask for help. You have to actually walk back. So, we're gonna just kinda see. Well, we gotta find one. Yeah. But, we're gonna see if maybe it opens up up here a little bit. And, I mean, there's quite a bit of people on this portion. Look, another piece here. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a big stew pile up here. <laughs> Look at all them little beans. There's gotta be some wild animals. Uh, what? I mean, if it is a, f what? Oh yeah, there is like some kind of, you're not gonna be able to see, but right through there. If it is a farm, I'm still gonna count it because we are on like a prairie. I mean, look at all that. 
Someone ate something bad. But if it is a farm and we see it over here, technically we did, we did see an animal. I don't know if it's wild or not. We will um, just keep playing it by ear. So as we're a little further up the road here, you can start to kind of see the open prairie. I kind of feel like Oregon Trail right now. We need a covered wagon and need some goods. Just kind of a map point of where we're at. Way, way, way over there. That little metal roof that the sun is glistening off of, that is the watchtower. So as far as we go this way, we're definitely gonna have to go back that way, but onward. In Florida, since everything is sand, you get a lot of fire ants and they build huge ant hills. We have like huge ones in our yard, but I mean all through there are just big ant hills. And we're up here a little bit. This kind of looks like some sort of horse slash bison trail that goes in there. Now the crazy thing is, it's not like the horses and bison can, oh, there's a cardinal. That's a pretty one too. And then a female over there. Pretty one. But the thing with the horses and bison in here, it's, I mean, they've got this whole perimeter fence. So it's not like they just like go even further south for the winter. They're gonna still be in here somewhere. Do you hear these like birds? We well, did figure out that there's a farm over there. Unfortunately, those aren't wild cows, but if we don't see anything else, we're gonna claim that these are wild cows. It looks like our two mile trail is going to be cut short as, I mean, I know technically we could just, but we're gonna follow the rules and say that we aren't gonna go past this now. I think there are some people that have gone back there. And I can't tell if there's anything over that way, but I think we're gonna go back towards the observation tower. Maybe we can get a good look from up there. We took a break for a second. I don't know if we'll be able to see anything holding my hands up or not, but I feel like something just brushed up against that palm tree. It definitely made a sound. It smells like poo over here. And our, and Meriwether said, it smells like poo over here, so. Show me a bison. Okay, we need your guys' help here. Like, there's no way that's a big old pile of a duke, is it? Like, I mean, I don't know. The size of my, bigger than my hand. Are there elephants out and about? Or is that like some kind of wild mushroom or something? I don't know. Comment below and, uh, let me know if somebody knows what this is. I would go back there, but there's a chain, or there's a bar barbed wire fence, barbed wire fence. But I don't know, just kind of spotted it, not sure. We decided that there's no way that was like Duke because some animal probably, <laughs> some animal is either having the worst day of his or her life or that's gotta be just some kind of like growth thing in the ground. I mean, look at all that. Now we're back on this trail and up here is where we turn and head towards the visitor center and then that observation tower. Hopefully we will get a little bit more lucky and see something. Okay, we made it around this loop now and there's our observation deck, tower rather, and I think there's a trail right over there that we're gonna see if, hopefully somewhere in the prairie land over here, there's some animals. So I was talking about ant hills earlier. Look, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at that. I mean, that's a good seven, eight inches tall. Now, there's the visitor center. Look at those trees, look at that. 
there's the Merriweather. Then here's our observation tower. All right, we've got to go back out this little cattle guard looking thingy and head down that path to the observation tower. Payne's Prairie has been designated National Natural Landmark. Okay, now we're approaching the tower here. Huge tree. Let's see what it says. Oh, there's the Wakahuda Trail. Some rules. Drones are prohibited. Slippery when wet. Cell phone audio guide. Going up. See what it looks like here. Made it to the top. So we walked here, here, and then all the way over here and back. But as you can see, it's very large. So we're heading back down now. But something crazy is when you're at the very top, you can actually feel the tower sway when people are walking up the stairs and stuff. I don't like heights, so that was a little kind of scary for me. Now we're going to go on the Wakahuda Trail. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but that's what we're going to call it. Look at this massive tree. I felt like I have to put this on camera. This is the cutest little piece of firewood I've ever seen. I mean, so here's my hand. I kind of just want to like take it with me. That is, that's the cutest little stump piece of wood I've ever seen in my life. It's like the perfect cylinder. Still walking on this Wakahuni walk trail. Just some nice little <laughs> landmarks. I don't know what it's called. Wakahuni, Wachachuti. <laughs> I don't know, but we're just walking on this trail. What in the world lives in here? Oh, there's there's definitely some kind of creature's home right here. Don't know. I'm not going to get too close. I'm going to keep our distance, but something lives. Something, something's made its home down there. Okay. If you ever come out here. And you, you already walked the 17 miles that we did. <laughs> Do not take the walk. Skunky. Oh, that was a tiny little lizard. Okay, yeah, this is slightly wigged out because it's an armadillo. Play that scary music now. You sure make a lot of noise for being so small. I'm thinking there's like a wolverine or something. I thought it was skunky. For sure. <laughs> Squatch. Just, just doesn't even care about us right now. You are making a lot of noise, dude. While we're watching him, what I was saying earlier is, since we walked our 17 miles... If you are tired after that, do not go on the walk a hootie. I think that's how he, I, I don't remember. Walk a hootie. I don't know. Whatever this trail is, because we thought it was only going to be like a short trail, and we're still on it. Although, 
most wildlife we've seen so far. So, I don't know. He is just going, going for it. At least it wasn't like a wolverine or a skunk ape, so. Skunk ape, you know, I don't know what I was calling it earlier, but it is Waka <laughs> I think I was saying Waka Hootie. Hootie, like Hootie and the Blowfish. Great music, by the way. <laughs> I think our goal is to head back to the car, and I think there's a few more trails up along the way, possibly. I'm not sure, but either way, we get to finally sit down in the car. We can thank Merriweather here for saying <laughs> For saying, oh yeah, you just hop in the car and drive everywhere. Well, no, you actually don't. You have to walk everywhere. And even when you walk everywhere, you continue to walk everywhere. Look at this ant hill. Look at this. It is almost the size of a car. Whew. They're busy today. All right, that was our little trek around that area. I think now we're going to head toward the exit, but there might be a few other places we can drive. I don't think we're up for walking anymore, are we? I don't think so. Yeah, no. Meriwether says no, so. We have plans for tomorrow, so. Yeah, we have plans for tomorrow. But we're gonna just kind of head out and see if there's anything else along the way and go from there. Should we turn at any of these? Oh, I think. I saw that road mentioned. That way is camping, picnicking. Eh. 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 It's five o'clock, so we'll be, we'll be back. So that was our trip out to, what is the name of it? Payne's Prairie. Payne's Prairie. Prairie. Preserve. Preserve. Try to say that three times fast. Payne's Prairie, Payne's Prairie Preserve, Payne's Prairie Preserve, Payne's Prairie Preserve. I can't do it. Payne's Prairie Preserve. Just say it once. Um, really cool. I mean, yeah, we didn't see any bison or horses. We did see some wild cows. That's what we're going to call it. But what was cool is several people go out there and we could hear them talking that they have seen, seen them out there before. Um, we did see some wild dung kind of a first for us. We did see squirrels, birds, that Sasquatch skunk, skunk ape, the ape the armadillo. Um, got some exercise and again it was a beautiful day. Oh the sun's so bright. Beautiful day out. Um, we got to track some footprints and it was only six dollars so in my book it was a win. It's very cool. If you're ever out in the Gainesville area, I recommend just stopping by, but make sure that you have your hiking attire with you and you're ready to walk some. But signing off today, Merryweather, William, we'll see you next time.